Hello and welcome back to my channel this week. It's a double journal page with some collage papers, printed fabrics and some washi tape. I've got uh, some old fabric from a printed harmony flag that I created a long time ago and I've just cut up some pieces from it into these little feathers, little material feathers. So I will be laying those down and I also have this page that I gel plated as uh, a gel, gel print and I did a black background and then scratched the feathers into it and it has a lovely little blue tinge in the background that matches the turquoisey blue on the material feathers. This is some pearlescent ink that I spread over a, another page that has some photocopied writing on it, Chinese writing. And this is a gel printed page and at the top there is some writing, uh, inspiration as you it says. And so I'll be using that on one of the pages also. This is a photocopy out of a book. Uh, the book is called the Tao De Ching by Lao Tzu. And it is, I've just used a paintbrush and spread some pink uh, FW ink across the page. I'm now just measuring it and uh, I like the rough edges so I'm just tearing the, the edges and then I'm going to lay that down with some gel medium. So the, the Dow, for those that aren't familiar with it, um, one of the lines that jumped out at me from this piece is the Dow welcomes you. So the Dow is the way or the path can be um, translated as and I always kind of feel it as the the way when we get into our flow and we start to um, listen to the cues around us in life and things start to fall into place we're not in conflict with you know what's what's happening for us in life and so kind of like when we're in that creative space and things just sort of flow and go down really easily and we don't have to think a lot it all comes together and so that's what this piece ends up being about and I, I do write that line in English uh, at the bottom of one of the pages which you'll see at the end of the video so I'm just I've got the first page with the the verse from the Tao Te Ching and now I'm, I've laid down some of the material feathers and I'm going to uh, cut up the gel plate feathers uh, having a little bit of black to tie in with the black writing. So in, in thinking about the placement of the feathers, I'm wanting to leave a little bit of space where there isn't anything laid down. And also I'm wanting to uh, leave a little bit of space in case I want to do some more stamping or if I want to come back into the journal at another time and do a little bit of writing on these pages. And so once I've uh, got my placement and put all the elements down on this first page, I move on to the second page and I've got the gel print uh, with the pearlescent um, inks on it. It's got the blues and purples and a little bit of the pink. And again, just tearing the edges so that I have that rough look. putting a little bit of gel medium down and 
adhering that to the journal page. You can leave it blank if you want. Uh, I'm using a strip from the first page that I've torn off just to bring the colour over to this page a little bit more, tying in the two pages. another piece up in the top corner which brings the the first page over into this page ties it in Now when I glued that piece down, I actually went over a little bit of the writing uh, that says uh, inspiration as you. So I will be coming back to that a bit later. But for now I'm just getting some of the larger elements down on the page. I love the pearlescent inks that are on these printed papers. They really shimmer and shine and give a, a, a beautiful glow to the page. So I'm putting this piece down just off centre, still creating a bit of background here. got some washi tape which has a beautiful gold finish a sort of a diamond pattern and I really wanted something that was going to be you know a straight line because so much of the collage is lots of curves and loose kind of elements going down so I wanted a little bit of contrast and I wanted a little bit of pop and so I'm just bringing in these two different washi tapes. This one's got uh, pink and gold on it, again in the sort of diamond pattern, slightly different to the first one, which has a kind of a pale blue in the background underneath the gold. With this piece I decide to take it right across the two pages and just making sure that I really get that crease so the pages open easily once it's all dried. I had a couple of letter stamps so I'm just bringing back the um, the I and the N for the word inspiration that I'd glued over. I wasn't happy with it so I wiped it away and came back with some smaller letters. The, the big letters just didn't fit in. So I've come back with the lowercase letters, the I and the N, just to finish, uh, you know, to bring that word inspiration back in so it can be read again. I 
and there you can see it. I wrote with an ink pen, the Dow welcomes you. Now I'm just using a black Posca paint pen and outlining around the feathers, putting a little bit more detail in. across the washi tape. One of the bits of material uh, started looking like a bird and so I decided to draw a couple of feathers on it in ink and allow it to be that. gave it some legs just doing a little bit more detail on these feathers as well So I'm really happy with the way the Double Journal page turned out and I hope it's been an inspiration for you with your own journaling or if you'd like to do a workshop with me please uh, follow and subscribe to my page so you can see updates of when I'm running workshops. There is an upcoming one at Ashkara if you're local in Fremantle. So thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button and follow me if you'd like to see more of these videos. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you next time.